Let's delve into the core principles of recession-proof business. Greetings. Now to kick the year off, we're going to dive deep into the realm of recession-proof business. We've heard so much information in the press about the escalating interest rates and what it's done to the economy. And it really is starting to slow down. Already the inflation rates dropped in the last month. Now that's good if it continues or stays static because at least the interest rates won't keep increasing and hopefully near the end of the year we'll see a fall. But in that time, we've got to get through this period and recession-proof our business in case we do go into recession, which all the signs are there that it's going to happen. So let's unravel that and look at some key strategies and explore the how behind each tip to understand the recession-proofing your business. Let's delve into the core principles of recession-proof business. First up, non-cyclical operations. Now to implement this, consider diversifying your product or service offerings to cater for different market segments. For instance, if you're in the food industry, Offering both affordable and premium options can help balance demand during economic fluctuations. Another core principle is affordability. Ensure your products or services are reasonably priced, making them accessible even in tough times. A practical example would be optimising your supply chain to cut costs and offering budget-friendly alternatives without compromising quality. Get out and get some more quotes and shop around for better prices. Now let's explore recession-proof industries and see what we can learn from them and where you might be able to employ some in your own business. So here's some small business ideas. You know, healthcare is resilient because people prioritise their health. So consider starting a health or wellness clinic or a specialised medical service or adapting your business now to align with those industries. Technology with constant growth provides opportunities for software development or IT consulting. Education remains a steady sector. Consider launching an online tutoring program. Utilities, essential for daily life, could inspire ventures in renewable energy or water purification. Consider consumer staples, consumer staples like food and hygiene products. Maintain demand, high demand. Make a small grocery store or a healthcare product with viable options. Now, crafting a recession-proof business involves key components. Through market research is critical. For instance, analyse customer behaviour during economic downturns and tailor your offerings accordingly. A strong value proposition, or USP, aligned with customer needs means identifying pain points and creating solutions. Diversification strategies, such as expanding product lines or targeting new customer service, enhance stability. For practical financial planning, create contingency budgets and explore cost-saving measures. For instance, negotiate better terms with suppliers or explore bulk purchasing discounts. Operational resilience is pivotal. Streamlining operations efficiently involves optimising processes. Utilise lean principles to eliminate waste and enhance efficiency. This will see you good when the economy returns and starts to boom. Implementing technology plays a crucial role. Invest in automation tools to streamline repetitive tasks and improve overall productivity. Foster adaptive leadership by encouraging a culture of continuous improvement. Leaders should be open to feedback and quick to adjust strategies based on market dynamics and demand and the changes. It's about being agile and responsive to change. Effective branding during a session involves maintaining a consistent message and image. Consider brands like Coca-Cola and McDonald's, which have weathered economic downturns over many decades by staying true to their identity. Customer retention is achieved through loyalty programs and personalised communication. You want to make it so that your business is the one where your customers want to go to. You need to establish a relationship that they want to deal with you and your business. So they're not out looking for other competitors. You know, you've built such a good, strong relationship there that you're the one-stop shop for them, for whatever that product is. You know, for instance, Amazon Prime ensures customer loyalty through their exclusive benefits. 
that cost-effective digital marketing can be achieved through social media campaigns and email marketing. Dollar Shave Club is a prime example. Now, utilising humorous and viral marketing to attract budgety conscious consumers. Now, close to my own heart, you know, with my background with Price Waterhouse and the financial businesses, now let's explore funding and financial strategies. Now, bootstrapping involves self-funding your business, you know, minimising reliance on external sources. For lean financial practices, closely monitor expenses and cut non-essential costs. Consider a subscription-based model like Netflix, ensuring a steady revenue stream. It actually helps your customers or clients equate their income across and expenses, but also gives you better cash flow. Now, building emergency funds involves setting aside a portion of profits consistently. An example is Apple, you know, known for its large cash reserves, providing a buffer during economic uncertainties and the resources to change what they're doing, develop new products to move with the times. Businesses can prepare for post-recession growth by staying informed about the economic indicators. For instance, monitoring consumer confidence levels can help anticipate shifts in purchasing behaviour. Cultivating agility involves being open to change. Businesses that successfully adapted post-recession, like General Electric, often diversified their offerings to align with evolving market needs. Preparing for growth means having a strategic plan in place with expanding product lines, entering new markets, or investing in research and development to stay ahead of the competition. As we wrap up, remember that building a recession-proof business is not just a concept. It's a practical application to enduring economic uncertainties. Whether you dive into non-cyclical operations, exploring recession-resistant industries, or crafting a resilient business plan, the how matters. Adaptability, streamline operations, technological leverage, effective leadership. These are the pillars of success in turbulent times. Now, if you found this guide valuable, take the next step in your journey. Dive deeper into recession proof strategies with our free ebook. Click the link in the description to download your copy today. For those seeking personalized guidance, Schedule a free one-to-one -one, business strategy session with me and we can bounce some ideas and apply these techniques to your own business. Now, with over 40 years business experience and multiple awards for excellence for both myself and my clients and just what I've learned by dealing with such a range of businesses, I'm here to share my knowledge and help your business thrive. Reach out directly on my personal mobile 0419 464 444. Or visit my website at miltoncollins.actioncoach.com. Let's build your resilient business together. Until next time, this is Milton Collins signing off. Take care.